In this video, I show you 10 Google Sites tricks that you must know. So these are small tricks which will enhance your site once you've created it. And if you still haven't made a Google site, you can check out this video over here on how to create one. So I've given the timestamps for all of them in the description and you can check it out from there. So let's get started. So now I'm on Google Sites and I'll use this template to show you all of the tricks. So let's start with the first one, which is to align text and images. So you can align them horizontally or vertically. So over here, as you can see, I have an image on the left and the text is on the right. But if I want to align it vertically by putting the text above or below the image, so just put your cursor on these small dots, which are over here. And now you can drag the text box wherever you want. So if I want it on top of the image, I could just drag it here. And now, as you can see, it's become a title to this image. And if I want, I could move this to the center. And now this looks much better than before. So the same way, if you want it below, like a caption, just drag the text box and move it below. So this is how to align it vertically. And I'll just go back and show you how to align it horizontally. So this is how it was originally. And to align it horizontally, the same way, select these dots and just move the top text box over here. So as you can see, it's come below. And now if you just press enter a few times, so basically in the text box on top, we've just kept some blank lines. And now the text is right in between the image. Now the next trick is creating a link which automatically composes an email when you click on it. So now I've come to the contact page and as you can see, the email ID is just written over here. A person can't click on it to send an email to this ID. So now to make this into a link, which will compose an email to this ID, it's extremely simple. What you have to do is select this text. After that, click on this icon which is to insert a link. After that, under link, you need to type mail to colon and then just copy this ID below. After that, you could change this text if you want. So I could just keep it tech is easy and then click on apply. So now if anyone clicks on this text, it'll automatically make them compose an email. The next trick is how to copy a header onto a new page. So let's say you've designed the header for a certain page and now you want it on more pages. Then there's an easy way to copy the header. So I'll quickly change this header and show you how it works. Then the first thing you have to do is go to the page whose header you want to copy. So I'm already on this page because I want to copy this header. After that, I'll click on pages, which is on the top right. Then click on plus that's at the bottom and select new page. Then I'll give it whatever name I want. And as you can see, the header has come onto this test page. And let's say you want to copy the header of the about page. Then it's the same thing. Just go to the about page and then from here, click on plus. The next trick is something that's really simple, but can be really convenient when you're working fast. And this trick is the double click shortcut. So if you double click anywhere on this page, as you can see, these options have come. So from here, we can add text, we can embed code, add images, or upload files from our laptop or Google Drive. So whilst working, if you quickly want to add one of these, then instead of going to the insert page and looking for them, all you can do is right click and quickly select them from here. Then the next trick is creating a menu when you have multiple sub pages. For example, under videos, I have a sub page called Google form. But the problem with this is that even videos is a page itself. So I can click on it, but it's blank over here because I have nothing to put on this. So what I can do is that instead of creating a page called videos, I can create a menu 
because you can't click on a menu and go to it. So to do this, just click on pages, which is over here. Then hover your mouse over plus and select new menu section. It's this option here. Then I'll call this videos. And now I can add the Google form sub page in the menu. So I'll just drag it in the menu. And now let's see how it works. So the menu we created is over here. And as you can see, I can't click on it. On the other hand, I can click on this videos because this is a page. Then the next trick is also related to pages and it's hiding a page from navigation. So let's say I've added links to the contact page of my website, but I don't want it to come in the navigation bar on top. Then what I can do is next to contact, click on the three dots and select hide from navigation. And as you can see, it's gone from the top. But if I click on the link, which I had created, then it'll still take me to the page because the page exists, but I've just hidden it from the navigation bar. The next few tricks are related to the branding of your website. So first I'll show you how to add a logo and favicon to your website. So a favicon is this small icon, which you'll see in a tab next to the website's name. So we can change both of these by going to settings that's over here, then going to brand images. So for both of these, you can upload any image. So I've already done it and I'll show you how it looks. I'll just open the published website. And here, as you can see, my logo has come on the top left and on the tab next to the website's name, the favicon is my logo. The next trick is adding social links in the footer of your website. So this is something which Google sites recently added. So under the insert page, if you scroll down, you'll find an option called social links. And here you can add the links to your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. They have all these options and it's extremely simple. You have to just enter the link over here. So for now, I'll put the link to my YouTube channel and then you can add the image which you want. So over here, I can put a logo of YouTube. And as you can see, the YouTube logo has come here. So the same way you can add links to all of your social media and then click on insert. And this is how it looks. And you can also edit the style. If you click on it, you'll see all of these options. You can change the size. After that, the shape. Then you can decide if you only want the outline and then there are few more options which you can go through. And after that, you can just move this and keep it wherever you want on your site. Then the next thing you can do is add a table of contents on your homepage. And it's working is extremely simple. All it does is that it takes the titles of everything on that page and just sums it up into bullet points. So I'll show you how it works. In the insert page over here, you'll find table of contents that's written here. So just click on it. And as you can see, it's automatically added the headings of everything that's on this website. So now let's see how this works. I'll quickly publish the website. And over here, if I click on my second video, as you can see, it's taken me to this heading on this page. So overall, this is a quick summary of all the headings on a certain page. Then the next thing you can do is add an announcement banner to your website. So basically it's a banner which will remain on the top of your website and you can add text and a link to it. So I'll show you how to add it. Just click on settings, which is over here and over here, select announcement banner. That's the last option. So here they've said that this banner is displayed above your site content. So to enable it, just click on this button over here. After that, you can change the color of the banner. Then you can add a message. After that, there'll be a button and you can change the text from here and add a link over here. And then just close settings to see how it works. 
And as you can see, the banner has come on top. Here's the text. And this is the button, which if I click, will take me to my YouTube channel. So these are basically all of the tricks. And if you want to know how to connect your site to Google Analytics, or how to connect your site to a custom domain, you'll find both of these videos over here. So that's it for today. Goodbye.